The hemisphere monitor is a versatile tool for directing a master stream from an elevation or where not enough ground space is available for a ground-based monitor. It can provide up to 500 gallons of water per minute and is supplied by a single 3-inch hose. The refinery currently has two mounting options for the hemisphere. The hemisphere monitor and its two types of supports is located in the front bumper compartment of foam engine 4. To deploy the hemisphere monitor, collect the hemisphere, the cross pin mount, and the type of support you will be using. The two types of supports are the I-beam clamp and the parallel bar mount. The I-beam clamp may be attached to an I-beam with a maximum flange width of 21 inches and a maximum flange thickness of 2.5 inches. Besides being mounted on an I-beam, the clamp jaws may be removed and the squared clamp backbone may be mounted to a 2-inch vehicle hitch receiver. The parallel bar mount can accommodate rounded parallel bars of 1.5 to 2 inches in diameter that are spaced 5 to 29 inches apart. Make sure that the bars chosen are strong enough to handle the forces that will be applied, including the weight of the equipment, hose, and the water reaction force. When using the parallel bar mount, keep the cross pin mount between the clamps. This video will show how to use the I-beam clamp. First, pull the cross pin on the movable clamp jaw. That's the one with the clamp arm crank. Next, slide the clamp jaw away from the fixed clamp jaw wider than the I-beam flange. Hook the fixed clamp jaw on the I-beam flange and slide the movable clamp jaw toward the I-beam flange. Push the cross pin through the hole in the clamp backbone that positions the movable clamp jaw closest to the I-beam. Turn the clamp arm crank clockwise until snug. Try to move the assembly to ensure that it is secure. Next, position the mount base on the backbone at the desired position. Push in the cross pin to secure it into place. Now, place the hemisphere monitor on the mount base. The monitor will lock into place. Verify it is locked by lifting up on the hemisphere. There are three ways that the hemisphere can be aimed at the target. The hemisphere can be rotated on the mount by pulling on the rotation release lever and turning the hemisphere until the lever locks into a new position. Rotate the waterway by turning the crank. You can swivel the nozzle by unlocking the swivel lock, moving it into the position that you need, and then retightening. The single 3 inch supply hose is attached to the swiveling inlet. Pull the valve handle lock knob and move the valve handle toward the hose to start flowing water. To break down the hemisphere monitor, stop flowing water by moving the valve handle away from the supply hose until it locks into place. Next, remove the supply hose. Pull the monitor release knob and lift up on the monitor. Turn the crank arm counterclockwise to release pressure on the movable clamp jaw. Next, pull the cross pin, slide the clamp jaw away from the I-beam flange, and remove the assembly.